In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to create and edit branches in iMindMap. To create a new branch, move your cursor over your central idea until the red dot appears. Click on the red dot and drag the branch out into your workspace, releasing to fix in place. If you want to create another branch, simply go back to the red dot on your central idea and drag and release as before. To create a child branch from the parent branch, hover your cursor over the end of the branch and you will see a target appears. To create a new branch, click on the red dot as before and drag and release. Whenever you want to create a new branch, always look for the red dot. If you want to move the position of your branch to another part of the map, go back to the end of the branch and look for the target again. Instead of clicking on the red dot as before, click on the blue circle around the outside. Once you've clicked on this, you can move the branch into any position that you would prefer. As soon as you release, the branch will be fixed into that position. To add text to a branch, you need to select the branch by clicking on it and making sure that it is active. You can tell if a branch is active because these little blue dots will appear along the length of it. These are the control points which we will come back to later. Once the branch is active, you can simply type on your keyboard and the text will appear. Select enter to fix the text to the branch. Again you simply click on a branch so it is active and then type and enter. If you want to edit any of the text on your branches, you can double click on that branch and you can see the text will be highlighted. If you were to type straight away, to edit the text on a branch, double click and then type the new text. Select enter and that will fix it to the branch. If you are creating a new branch, by clicking on the red dot, dragging out and releasing, typing now will add the text straight onto the branch. You can drag, release, type and enter. Again, to recap, to move the position of a branch, hover your mouse over the end of the branch until you find the blue circle click on it and drag the branch into your desired position. Like so. If you would like to include more text on one of your branches, for example for a quote or an extract from a book, go to the top of the screen and under the Home tab in the Draw section, click on Box Branch. You can draw a box branch in the same way as any other branch by looking for the red dot and dragging out and releasing. You can see the box appear on the end of the branch here. This will allow you to fill it with more text than you would normally use on a normal branch. Simply double click in the box and then type your text. Click enter when you have finished and the box will wrap itself around your text. We always advise that you try to keep to one word per branch, a keyword, to help you remember the information and generate more ideas, but a box branch can be very handy for those situations when you need to include a little bit more information. You can see that iMindMap creates very curved, organic looking branches, but if you want to create a branch in your own shape, you can do this by selecting the freehand option on the top toolbar. Simply select freehand, go back to your map and create a new branch as usual. But you will notice that this time the branch will follow the exact path of your cursor so you can make any shape that you wish. You can add text to a freehand branch the same as any other branch by simply typing and hitting enter.
If you want to show that two ideas are related or will impact upon each other, you can do this by creating a relationship. Simply select a relationship from the top toolbar, find the red dot at the end of the first branch, and then drag the arrow that will appear to the related branch until the target appears. Then release and you can see that your relationship will have been drawn between the two branches. You can add text to a relationship the same way as you can any other branch. When the relationship is active, so you can see the blue control points highlighted on the relationship, Simply type and hit enter the same as you would any other branch. You can change the shape of any of your branches by clicking on the branch so it is active and you can see the blue control points and by clicking on one of the blue control points and dragging the branch you can see that you can change the shape. When you release the branch will stay in that position. This gives you that extra bit of control over the layout and look of your map. You can also add new control points by clicking shift and then clicking on the point in the branch where you want a new control point. Just click shift and then click and you will see a new control point appear. The more control points there are, the more you can control the shape of the branch. If you wish to remove a control point, it's the same as adding one. Simply so hit shift and then click on the control point that you wish to remove. You may find that you want to convert one of your branches into a box branch. For example, if there is getting to be too much text on the branch and it is taking up too much room, you can tidy it up by converting the branch. To do this, select the branch so it's active look for the formatting bar at the top of your screen and on the top right hand side there is the convert button. Clicking this will convert your branch into a box branch. This will also work the other way around. So if you have a box branch that you want to change into a normal branch, if you select it, click the convert button and it will turn that branch into a normal branch. Similarly you can just change it back again. To format any of the text on your map, simply select the branch that you wish to format and go up to the formatting bar at the top of your screen. Here you can make text bold, italic, you can change the colour of the text by selecting the letter option, you can change the font by selecting from the drop down at the top and scrolling through pick your desired font and you can also change the size of the text. You can do this either by selecting from the drop down here and choosing a size or you can use the font bigger and font smaller options on the right hand side. By clicking the larger A you can make your text bigger and the smaller A Will make the font smaller. To change the alignment of any of your text on the branch, you can use the options here. You can either align the text to be at the start of the branch, the middle, the end, or have it fit to the branch length. If you want to format all of the text on your map at once, you can do this by going to the right hand side of your screen and finding the select drop down. Choose Select All and then make whatever amendment you wish to the font of your text. You can see that this will change all of the text on your map. Now you should be able to create and edit branches. You can create normal branches, box branches, freehand branches, relationships, you can add text, edit and format the text, and edit the shape and position of your branches.